hard, didn't he? I didn't see him. <laughs> Henry's on his back. Let's see how he does on his back. Gets up right away, gives up his back, fights the hands, cuts in. Oh, All three judges for this contest, 29, 28, for the winner, by your best. Kind of a snoozer, boys. I think uh, he and Gary probably pointed it out, though. For the winner, by split decision, and still undefeated, the future! Martina! Fellas, that's a wrap. UFC 298. We're here in our suite, our five-star suite here at this hotel. And uh, first fight on the... Uh, it's got a hot tub. Uh, it's got a hot tub. First fight, Marab versus Henry. Henry looked weathered and old. He looks like he's just not really in it anymore. If he retires, I mean, he did a lot. I was and hearing rumors that uh, he did not have a good camp, wasn't sparring, did not, was not able to train hard. But it's so funny. You hear fighters... Like, I guess I was training, talking about when I fought Aljo, how, oh, camp's going good and shit. It's like, what, are you, what else are you going to fucking say? Henry was all confident and saying shit, but realistically, it sounded like he had a horrible camp. Yeah, and heard, heard he had a, a groin injury. He couldn't spar for a while. But getting older, and Marab brought the pace. I was surprised Marab took him down so many times. He yeah. finished a single leg a handful of times and just kind of kind of whooped henry but if that henry would have fought suge it would have been a bad bad yeah. night but if if henry's retiring congrats to him he did a lot still did double champ uh respect to henry so, next one uh marab looked good though he's a fucking little machine he, he's definitely a Why'd problem you say little well because he's five five two i think yeah okay so. but uh <laughs> and then next one so good good job marab there i think marab's on a 10 fight win streak i think if he can put five more together we'll probably end up seeing him <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, but next one. Ian Gary versus um, Jeff Neal. Jeff Neal. Ian Gary looked like a vegan. You used to, where'd you read that? Or you make that up? He even said, I'm not eating meat anymore in the embedded, didn't he, Sono? Fuck. Yeah, so I think. It did look kind of like a soy, like a green bean. He didn't look as strong, really explosive. He was backing up. The crowd was in there was booing him really, wow. really loud. Um, he got it done, though. Got it done by decision. I figured he would. Too long. So I don't know saying it was robbery. I didn't think it was a robbery. Southpaw, Southpaw Orthodox, he was he was doing a good job at ripping that knee up the middle, yeah. throwing some teeps, um, got the job done. Not very exciting. Who do they give him next? Hopefully they give him Colby. They called out Colby. 
It'd be sweet. I was sitting next to Ali, and Ali's like, Colby kills him. Colby kills him. I'm like, three round fight? God, when someone says someone kills the other guy, yeah. it's like, you know, dude, who's going to show up healthy and who's going to yeah. show up and perform on that night? Yeah. Paul Acosta, so, Robert Whitaker. Paul Acosta, Robert Whitaker. Robert was f***ing his calf. That up. was a sick fight. Badass fight. He was smacking his calf, dude. He had that baseball-sized lump on his calf. Was that no, the first shin. round? It was his yeah. shin. From, I think, I think Paulo checked a kick. And then Sono saw him backstage, and he was in some severe pain. Fuck. I took him to the hospital. That was a war, though. I mean, Robert Whitaker was so fast with his jab. He was so sneaky with his right hand. Mm -hmm. um, Come back, getting KO'd from DDP. Impressive. Paul Costa was backing up. leak is in this video. I hope it is, too. <laughs> Paul Costa backing up with his chin up a little bit. Robert Whitaker was fine in that right hand. That wheel kick at the end, end of the first was on the money. Oh, that was crazy. Uh, and Robert Whitaker gets it done. He's back on the win, win, winning track, and he, he looked really good. Paulo Costa, I saw his coach captain in the back, and yeah, he's just like, good. he uh, he said all his wars were done in the gym. So he was out for a year, getting ready for multiple fights, having a lot of fight camps, and uh, having a lot of wars in the gym probably. And that happens. And that's, I mean, guys train hard and they overtrain. That could have been it, whatever. Robert Whitaker looked good. Next fight. Robert Whitaker versus Sean Strickland. Yeah, be that would sick. be sweet. It's a sick fight. You heard it here first. And then, okay, well, after that. Ilya knocked out Volkanovski in the second round. Ilya knocked out the greatest featherweight of all time in the second round. I knocked out the greatest bantamweight of all time in the second round. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, people want people will, will hate on it. Like, what? But Sugar versus Ilya is a definite possibility. And uh, Ilya looked good, though. Right when he was in there, but when they were before the face-off, he just looked like it was a champion in there. He looked really calm, super calm. Volk looked a little bit hesitant. And then as soon as Volk got put his back on the fence, Ilya ripped off a, one of his nasty boxing combos and KO'd him. Ilya's um, got to be one of my favorite fighters to watch. He's f sick. So sick. He's so sick. His whole family was right behind us wearing all black with a red rose. It was kind of cool. It was Pretty sweet. That was kind of cool. Uh, that documentary that he's going to drop, probably do pretty good now. Oh, yeah. That's th yeah. that's what they're doing. So, uh, yeah, what's next for him? He, w I mean, do it. I go out there and do what I do against Cheeto. Me versus Elia in September in the Sphere. I'm saying I'm, that's just fucking book it. Book your hotels. Book your flights. Not saying it's going to happen, but book your shit. But, 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 but book it so it doesn't sell out. Yeah. We got this. We got to take care of this kid first, Cheeto Rivera. Yeah. He's a tough little. He's little, a tough uh, Mexican. He is. No, he's he Ecuadorian. Come on. I don't yeah, disrespect Ecuadorian. the Mexicans. Maybe a lot of family. <laughs> but we're not looking past him, so no, we're ready no. to go. Three weeks, and we're and we're there. So He wasn't at the fights tonight. Where were you, Cheeto? I was there waiting for you. We weren't there, buddy. Not Who were we look. sitting next? Corey Sanhagen was behind us. Ali was next with Justin, Justin Gaethje. Gaethje. Jamal Hill, um, breaking news. Jamal Hill, breaking news. Alex Pettis, supposedly. So. All right. UFC 298 recap. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button. Love you. Peace. Are we live? Joseph.